Push the goddamn button. Push the goddamn button. Everybody subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Go ahead and click that red button right there. And also click that bell for notifications and select all. All right. Yo, 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 This is Gamesy Graphics. We are bigger than the building. With another GTA 5 mod tutorial for you. And today we are going to be installing a FX server creator. This one is uh, created actually by the same people that brought us Infinitus. That was a um, server that I covered uh, months ago, probably about a year or so ago. But this one today is going to be a new server creator that we're going to be creating today or installing today, shall I say. Here goes a few of the screenshots of what's to come right here. Now this one right here is created by Nikius. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Nikius is the creator. Shout out to the creator. When you get down to this download page, what you want to do is always read the full description before you download any script or mod. Once you're done reading the description, come up here to the green arrow where it says current and select the green arrow to download. Now on top of this, we are going to be installing vMenu, okay? Now both of these links will be posted down in the video's description, so make sure you check out that description for all these links. This uh, page right here is for vMenu. The latest and current version right now while I'm making this video is v331, okay? When you uh, get down to this page, you can go ahead and check out the description as well as the changes that has been made and when you get down to the bottom of that you will see these three links right here you want to select the first link that says vmenu v331.zip you want to select that in order to download vmenu once you have your fx server creator and your vmenu downloaded right here i have a folder in front of me with just two downloads i have server creator and vmenu Let's go ahead and open up the server creator folder. Inside the server creator folder, we are going to have a lot of files. Okay, let me try to blow these up for you real quick. This is the main important file that we want to open right here. Our application is going to be the Nikius server creator. Let's go ahead and open up that by double clicking on it. When you double click on it, it is going to be asking you to sign in. Once you have uh, created an account and have signed in, then you will see this right here. It's going to say, hi, good to see you back. Um, I already have one here, but I'm going to create a new server. Let's go ahead and select new server. Then right here, another little window will pop up. It's going to say, hello, let's build your server. Select which type of server you want, 5M or Minecraft. We're going to be doing 5M today. So I'm going to select 5M. Then they want the server path please choose a path without spaces all right so this is the part where you could go ahead and choose the path of where you want to put your server at I'm gonna go ahead and just select uh, my C drive right here and once you select the path you want go ahead and select OK once you have did that if you have a premium um, account go ahead and enable server ONI and uh, once you have done that go ahead and select create all right once your server has been created yours is going to be added to this um, right here to this page go ahead and select or the manage button for the server that you just created for me I created the server on the C drive so let's go ahead and select manage once you have selected manage it's going to open up this page right here this is where you get to do all the configurations to your server including adding in the resources let's go through all of the options that they have in quick options we have close application and logout server options we have the council button configuration file and schedules in the files we have file manager backups and database mysql in miscellaneous we have manage access scripts and script installer all right so let's get to um one of the very important ones is um well all these are important but uh the council we will see that once we run the server um for right now what we want to do is go into our configuration file this is going to be our server.cfg but it's going to be called configuration file so just tap that and it'll open up inside here you can see that everything has already been put inside it's already preset 
um, all we have to do is add in our Steam API, API key and also um, possibly change the name to your server. And let's add in also our resource because we will be adding in our V menu, okay? So um, what we want to do is start with the V menu part first. As you can look right here, it says these resources will start by default. So let's go ahead and put the cursor behind the last resource, which uh, should be MySQL async. I'm going to press enter twice. And then I'm going to paste this in It's three lines, um, which is going to be covering uh, the permissions for V menu. I will post these three lines down in the video description. Once you have pasted those three lines, then go ahead and type in ensure space and then type in V menu. All right. So once you have that typed in just how I have it like that, we are good to go. Also, the next option down is a uh, script hook allowed. Um, you can leave that on zero or one if you would like to use uh, any menus on your server. Um, scroll down, then they have um, your Archon password, uh, the tags that you can make for your server, and um, banners and everything. And then down here, you could uh, change your server's name. Right now, by default, it's going to say FX server, but unconfigured. Okay, so I'm going to put. Um, Let's put tut server. I'm going to change it to tut server just for right now. And we have uh, loading a server icon and all these good stuff down here. Now, if you scroll all the way down, it's going to have um, a place where you put in your web key, your web API key. In between these two quotes is where you want to put it in at. I will leave a link down in the description showing you where and how also to get your Steam Web API key. All right. Once you have it, go ahead and enter it inside here. They also come with a license key right here. Um, you could also click on this website right here, which is keymaster.5m to go ahead and get your um, your keymaster uh, key your license key all right and there's also a link right here also to uh go to steam community so you could get your web api key as well okay um you could also change well not change but this is your limit which is 32 slots in your server um if you want to get more you have to go ahead and contact 5m and uh i guess become a patreon of 5m so you could get one sync that way you can have up to 128 um slots available for your server okay so once you have all this information entered go ahead and select save all right now that that has been saved let's go ahead and um, install rv menu now let's go ahead and bring back up our um, folder that we had with our server creator this is a server creator that we had opened up earlier um, i press the back arrow and now let's go into our v menu but before we go into v menu let's correct the title of v menu because right now it says v menu dash v331 what we want to do is highlight the name and we want to delete the v331 okay the hyphen v331 we want to delete we only want it to say menu okay once it says menu we're all good to go we could go ahead and minimize this window now from right here what we want to do is go down to script installer all right this button right here select script installer then once you select it this window is going to pop up they also have a link to see the tutorial if you want to if you want to install your scripts, you want to select this arrow, okay? The arrow that's pointing downwards. Go ahead and select the arrow. That is going to open up this browser window right here. Now you want to go ahead and locate where you have your V menu downloaded at. So I'm going to navigate to where I have my V menu at. And my V menu is right here. Once you select the folder of V menu, go ahead and select OK. Then you will see plugin installed. Then you can continue this process to go ahead and install any scripts that you want. Let's go ahead and select the X right here. 
once that has been selected uh, let's go into file manager okay opening file manager we will be able to see exactly where our resources and scripts are being installed let's go ahead and open up file manager file manager is going to do is open up a uh, file manager window going straight into your server so this is our server that we had just installed today this is super easy um, the 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 cre the nick the nickiest creator automatically installs all this for us okay um, let's go to resources right here if you open up resources then you will see the resources that automatically come inside of your server now for the scripts that we installed is going to be inside scripts. If you open up the scripts folder right here, then you will see the scripts that we installed, which is vmenu, okay? So once that is installed, we're all good to go. Let's go ahead and um, run our server. Uh, you always wanna make sure that you uh, run Steam first and then run your uh, 5M server. Now let's go back to our um, our manage page right here where we can manage our server now um, as you can see uh, once we start it once I start the server then I will open up the council and uh, we have schedules here as well schedules will only be available to uh, premium members if you open up schedule then you can schedule um, uh, access to your server right here and all your program schedules will be right here down below you also have backups. If you want to back up uh, your files in your server, this page will open up right here where you can enable 24 seven backups. Just go ahead and select a backup path by selecting these dots and then selecting enter. And all of your recent backups will be listed right here below. Then you have your database MYSQL. This right here will uh, be have to be covered in a whole different tutorial. Um, there is a lot of tutorial videos out there on YouTube about this, but this is where you could create your own database for your server right here. You have your create database, give database access, and connection details. And manage access. When you select manage access, you will be able to give uh, somebody access to your server. If you have uh, some administrators to help you work on your server, this will be the place that you will go to right here, okay? and scripts when you select scripts uh, scripts is only for premium members also as well um, there's a few scripts here I'm pretty sure there will be more added but um, there's a few scripts here just to get you started off with um, some loading screens as well as some standalone and no clip once we're done making all the changes that we want to make and we want to run the server let's go to council and then at the bottom you will see start go ahead and select start All right once we see this little image right here and then that means we are good to go let's go ahead and minimize this and run our 5m once 5m loads up let's go ahead and select local host because that's where our server is at in local host or you can look it up by the name that you had gave it When you come in, when you log into your server, or what you want to do to open up vMenu is press M on the keyboard. And that's going to open up the menu. Um, you will be able to see all your online players. I'm the only one in here right now. Um, player options you have, as well as vehicle related options. You can spawn vehicles, uh, voice chat settings, recording settings, miscellaneous settings uh, like teleport and um, some other cool stuff, and about vMenu. All right. So now you have officially started your own server, man. This was uh, pretty quick also because everything, all the work was already done for us ahead of time. Uh, the server or configuration file was already filled out. All we needed to do was enter in our Steam API key and we were all good to go. All right. So, yep, I think that uh, that covers everything right here. If um, you enjoyed today's video or if this helped y'all out to install and create your own server, feel free to smash that like button for me and definitely subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and share the video with y'all friends that are in the modding GTA 5. Y'all, this is Games and Graphics. Me and uh, my little buddy, we are out of here until next time.
I ain't scared of you motherfuckers.